Hello all, um, Project Wargaming back uh, from a little bit of a break. I've been pretty busy the last couple weeks, so I haven't been able to post anything, but I am uh, getting ready to start a project that I'm uh, going to do for uh, Gen Con and then hopefully do for Fall In and stuff like that. This uh, summer, of course, uh, about a month away now, is going to be the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Uh, so the landing is in Europe, there in Normandy, and... I decided that I'm going to try to make a table for that and uh, use fistful of toes and six millimeter and uh, try to make some landings for that. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, been really fun kind of doing research and such. Obviously kind of required reading uh, Ambrose's D-Day. Uh, I got Keegan's uh, Six Armies in Normandy, uh, some Osprey stuff here. Uh, giving me an idea of what it looks like um, and, you know, uh, being inspired by other flicks and stuff out there as well. So um, uh, just kind of scale wise, it's been uh, kind of interesting to try to figure out. So let me pop this up and show you what I've kind of been working with so far. So uh, before I actually make the board itself, I decided that I was going to make just a scale map of it just on some paper plan is to have uh, three foot uh, by four foot tables and then have two of them that I can connect here. And then I think over here on this side, I'm, I'm going to kind of have a point to hawk sort of little, little thing. And so kind of be able to join join them however, uh, how uh, either end together. Um, I'm not going to do the exact sectors. Uh, I just, I don't really enjoy doing exact replicas of battles. Um, I kind of like just having the overall feel. So the overall feel here is going to be D-Day. So that means that this is going to be based mostly on uh, the Omaha beaches and that experience. And then I think in the back here, I'm of course going to have a little bit of the Normandy terrain, but I think I'm going to have some uh, villages and things that the uh, airborne are going to be in. And so the whole goal is going to be for the Americans to land and link up with the airborne units. And that's that's going to be kind of the main goal. Um, so just on paper, I've put out, um, you know, just kind of the start of what I think is going to be the terrain itself, bunkers and such, and then the draws, and then the beaches and the obstacles and about how much beach... I'm going to have, um, you know, I decided I'm going to have, I think, a decent amount of beach for these landing craft to actually travel across. Uh, one, it kind of just starts to build up the tension a bit um, in the game, but then uh, it'll help people to do uh, figure out kind of the artillery um, before they actually get into the infantry uh, and and armored uh, skirmishing and, and fighting. So hopefully that'll help uh, with the games because there's going to be like eight players at these games is typically what we try to shoot for in Gen Con and then uh, try to do that at Fall In as well. And I just always count on players in that having never played the game before and so trying to do the, the bare minimum to get them going and keeping it simple. So uh, it's been fun really kind of figuring out all the different landing craft. I don't know if I'll actually end up using this guy. Um, he, they came in a little bit later. Um, but I, I will most likely use uh, this, uh, I think it's an LCT. Um, this is an LCM, and this is an LCVP. And then of course you got the Sherman DD. And then you have the LCA, which is the Higgins boat redesign that the uh, Brits did, a little bit more armored and, and such. So I have also decided that I'm going to mount my uh, companies onto three quarter inch bases like they described in the rule book, um, having played a couple little play scenarios uh, already, it just seems like it's going to, to do. So most of these uh, models are GHQs, including this guy. Um, but uh, these two guys are actually 1 300 scale, so they probably would be a little bit bigger if they were to the GHQ scale. You can see the figures in them are just a little bit tinier. Than, uh, than what the GHQs are. So these are 1 300s, these are uh, 1 285ths, as well as this. 
Um, but at this scale, it's not going to matter too much. Um, so I'm going to have this and uh, have these as a landing. So plan is to kind of have two foot sections for landing zones and then probably have four. So two, two uh, U.S. players on each board and then have uh, so that'll be a four total U.S. players landing. And then I'll probably have a couple airborne uh, U.S. players in the back. And then I think I'm just going to have like, well, just a couple German players, maybe three. Um, because the Germans are just, I think, going to get beat up pretty bad. Um, the whole point is for them to kind of break through and, and do that. So um, been playing around with it and having a lot of fun. Uh, you can kind of see over... In the corner, I'm already kind of starting to do some experiments with uh, different uh, surfaces and, and things like that to, to really make it um, kind of a nice board to play on. Uh, I'm making it so that everything just stays on there. So I'm not going to uh, have movable modular terrain at all. It's just all going to be on the board. I'm just going to pull the board out. I'm going to have the troops ready to go and then just play. So everything is going to stay on this board. And so... Uh, woods and everything you're just going to move the models on top of the woods um, again building it ma mainly for a convention and so just knowing that how people play and use your stuff at conventions uh, it's just being planned around that so um, so I'm looking forward to it I'm going to do some practice games on the paper uh, so that I can start to get a sense of like how many bunkers are good and where the draws need to be and just kind of what what needs to happen um, so it's just a, a balance there between playability and uh, look and give you the overall feel of kind of what D-Day was uh, kind of all about and then uh, not be so into the minutia of this is the exact sector and these are the exact troops. Um, just uh, kind of an overall feel for D-Day. So really looking forward to it. I am actually going to England and Normandy at the end of June. Um so really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to being there for the uh, D-Day um, stuff. And then also going to be there for uh, Tank Fest in Bobbington. So really looking forward to that. And I'm sure that all of those travels will inform how I make this board. So I will keep you posted as I start to build it and kind of show you how I, I work it and, and do my stuff. But uh, that's my idea so far. And I'm... Um, Pretty excited about this project. So that's it. I will talk to you later. Bye.